This video is for those of you who are studying for the SAT exam. It's going to focus on the math section of that exam. Now this is just part one, so be sure to check out the links in the description section below for part two. Now this particular video is going to focus on evaluating functions and solving equations. In future videos, I'm going to talk about trigonometry, geometry problems, converting sentences into equations, averages, proportions, fractions, percents, and other topics that you're going to be tested on. But let's focus on this section of the SAT exam. So let's start with number one. By the way, for each of these problems, pause the video, try it yourself, and then once you have the answer, play the video to see if you have the right solution. Let's start with this problem. If g of x is equal to 5x squared minus 4x plus 2x cubed, then what is g of 3? So all we need to do is evaluate the function. We need to replace x with 3. So instead of 5x squared, it's going to be 5 times 3 squared. And then instead of 4x, it's going to be 4 times 3. Now, 3 to the second power, it's basically multiplying two threes together. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. Now what about 3 to the third power? So in this case, we're multiplying 3 threes together. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So this is what we now have. Now 5 times 9 is 45. And 2 times 27, 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times 7 is 14. 40 plus 14 is 54. 45 minus 12 is 33. And 33 plus 54 is 87. So D is the right answer for this problem. Number 2. In the function h of x shown below, k is a constant. If h of 3 is 26, then what is the value of h of negative 3? So notice that we're given this information. That's going to be helpful in order for us to calculate the value of k. Once we find the value of k, we can replace x with negative 3, and we could find the value of h of negative 3. So focusing on this expression, what is x? x is the number inside of the function. So x is 3. That means h of x will be 26. So let's begin by replacing x with 3. So this is going to be 5 over 3 times 3 squared plus k times 3 minus 4. Now h of 3, that's equal to 26. So let's replace h of 3 with 26. Now, 5 over 3 times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. So we have this so far. Now if you want to, you can add 4 to both sides. So these will cancel. And so we have 26 plus 4, which is 30. Now what about this? 5 over 3 times 9. Now you could do 5 times 9 divided by 3, or you could do 9 divided by 3 times 5. I prefer the second method. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So now we have this. Now let's subtract both sides by 15. So 30 minus 15 is 15. And that's going to equal 3k. Now if we divide both sides by 3k, I mean by 3 rather, we get 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So k is 5. Now let's just write that here. So now that we have our k value, we could answer the question, what is the value of h of negative 3? So let's replace x with negative 3. And let's replace k with 5. Negative 3 squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. 
9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 15 minus 15 and minus 4. These two will cancel, and so this will give us negative 4. So h of negative 3 is negative 4. So a is the right answer. Number 3. If r of x is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 3, then which of the following expressions is equivalent to r of negative 4x? So for this problem, we simply need to replace x with negative 4x. So it's 3 times negative 4x squared, and then 4. Instead of 4x, we're going to replace x with negative 4x. So it's just direct substitution. Now, what is negative 4x squared? So this is basically negative 4x times another negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. x times x, you need to add the exponent. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we're going to get 3 times positive 16x squared. Now, 4 times negative 4, that's negative 16. And we can carry over the x. Now, the last thing we need to do is multiply 3 by 16. 3 times 16 is 48. So r of negative 4x is equal to 48x squared minus 16x minus 3. Therefore, answer choice C is the correct answer. Number 4. Consider the function g of x is equal to 6 over x plus c. What is the value of c if the point 2 comma 7 lies on a graph of g of x? So let's focus on the point 2 comma 7. So that tells us that x is 2, y is 7. So this means that g of 2 is equal to 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace x with 7 in that function. So g of 2 is going to be 6 over 2 plus c. Now we know that g of 2 is equal to 7. So let's replace g of 2 with 7. So we have 7 is equal to 6 divided by 2, which is 3, plus c. Now let's subtract both sides by 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So in this problem, we can see that c is equal to a value of 4. So d is the answer. Number 5. Given the functions f of x and g of x, what is the value of g of 4? So let's plug in 4 into this expression. So it's going to be 4 squared minus 2 times f of 4 minus 5. Now 4 squared is 16 f of 4, we need to plug it into that function. So it's going to be 3 over 4, and then replace x with 4, and then minus 2. Now, 3 over 4 times 4, the 4s will cancel. So that's just going to give us 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. And so we have 16 minus 2, which is 14, and 14 minus 5 is 9. So in this example, g of 4 has a value of 9, which means e is the right answer. Now for those of you who truly value this video, if you want to show your appreciation, one of the best ways you can do so is by subscribing to this channel. And it really doesn't take too long. Just click on that red button at the bottom of the screen, and that's it. By the way, if you decide to do so, don't forget to turn on or click on that notification bell. Now, for those of you who want to support my channel, here's the link to my Patreon page. Also, when you get a chance, check out the links in the description section below this video because I'm going to post some other resources that you might find helpful. So let's get back to the video. Number six, if g of x plus 2 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 7, then what is the value of g of 5? Go ahead, take a minute, and try this problem. Now, the first thing we need to determine is, 
the value of x. What is x? Is x equal to 5? It turns out that in this problem it's something else. We need to write g of 5 as being g of 3 plus 2. The reason being is we have x plus 2 inside of g. So notice that the 2 is the same, which means that x has to be equal to 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace x with 3 in this problem. So it's going to be 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 7. 3 squared is 9. 3 times 3 is also 9. And so these two numbers will cancel. Thus, g of 5 is equal to 7. So in this problem, you need to determine x based on what you see here. So what you could do is set 5 equal to x plus 2. Subtracting both sides by 2, you'll get that x is equal to 3. And then once you have the x value, you can now plug it in to the formula, or to the function rather. So for this problem, answer choice D is the right answer. Number 7. What is the value of x in the equation shown below? So here we have two fractions separated by an equal sign. When you see this, you need to cross multiply. So 4 over 7 times x is the same as 4x divided by 7. You could view this as x over 1. And this is equal to 8 over 5. So first, we're going to multiply 4x by 5. And that's going to give us 20x. And then we're going to multiply 7 times 8, which is 56. Now, let's divide both sides by 20. So now we need to reduce the fraction. So how can we reduce 56 over 20? Well, both numbers are even, so we can divide the top and the bottom by 2. Half of 56 is 28. Half of 20 is 10. Now, we still have even numbers, so we could divide both numbers again by 2. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Half of 10 is 5. So the answer is B, 14 over 5. Number 8. If 3 times y plus 4 plus 5 times 2y minus 3 is equal to 10y plus 3, then what is the value of y? So in this equation, all we need to do is simply solve. So let's rewrite the equation first. Now the first thing we need to do is distribute. Let's distribute 3 to y and to 4. 3 times y is 3y. Three, 3 times 4 is 12. Now let's do the same thing with the 5. So we have 5 times 2y. That's 10y. 5 times 3 is 15. If we subtract both sides by 10y, these will cancel. Now, we can combine like terms. 12 plus negative 15, that's going to be negative 3. So this is what we now have. Now, let's add 3 to both sides. 3 plus 3 is 6. Our next step is to divide both sides by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So y is equal to 2, which means b is the right answer. Number 9. If 4x plus 7 is equal to 31, then what is the value of 5x minus 8? So what we need to do in this problem is we need to solve for x in this equation. Now once we have the value of x, we can plug it in into that expression and let's calculate the value of 5x minus 8. So let's start with this equation. Let's begin by subtracting both sides by 7. 31 minus 7 is 24. Next, let's divide both sides by 4. 
So 24 divided by 4 is 6. So now that we have the value of x, let's plug it into that expression. So we have 5x minus 8. So it's going to be 5 times 6 minus 8. 5 times 6 is 30. And 30 minus 8 is 22. So answer choice A is the right answer. Number 9. If 4x plus 7 is equal to 31, then what is the value of 5x minus 8? So we're given a linear equation and an algebraic expression. What we need to do is calculate the value of x by solving the linear equation. And then once we have that, once we have the value of x, we could plug it in to the algebraic expression. And that's going to give us the value of 5x minus 8. So let's begin by solving the equation on the left. The first thing we need to do is subtract both sides by 7. 31 minus 7 is 24. Next, we need to divide both sides by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So x is equal to 6. Now let's take that value and plug it into this expression. So let's replace x with 6. 5 times 6 is 30, and 30 minus 8 is 22. So therefore, answer choice A is the correct answer. Number 10. Given the equation shown below, what is the value of 12 divided by x plus 3? Now, this problem is very similar to the last problem. We're given an equation in which we need to solve. And once we get the value of x, we need to plug it into this expression to calculate the value of 12 over x plus 3. Now, how should we solve this particular equation. What do you think we need to do? Whenever you see two fractions separated by an equal sign, you need to cross multiply. So we're going to multiply 2 by 4x minus 9. And then we're going to multiply 3 by x plus 4. So let's distribute 2 to 4x minus 9. So 2 times 4x is 8x, and then 2 times negative 9, that's going to be negative 18. On the right side, we have 3 times x, and 3 times 4, which is 12. Now, let's subtract both sides by 3x, and at the same time, let's add 18 to both sides. So these will cancel. Now, 8x minus 3x is 5x. 12 plus 18 is 30. Now, our next step is to divide both sides by 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So x is equal to 6. Now that we have the value of x, we can take it and plug it into that expression. So this is going to be 12 over 6 plus 3. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. So as we could see here, answer choice E is the correct answer. So that's basically it for this video. Now, be sure to check out the links in the description below as I'm going to post part 2 at that location when it's available. Thanks for watching.